are very well, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to underclock your CPU and making it run lower, making it run quieter and having still practically the same performance percent or two down. If you're up for it, let's get started. The things you'll need are of course Intel processor. Then you'll need the following programs, Intel Extreme Tunity Utility and HW info because you'll want to have all the necessary information such as temperature and the clock that are running at the moment and also you can see other things such as your physical uh, amount of memory, RAM, your GPU temperature, your GPU clock, your memory GPU clock, your SSD temperature, SSD health your battery, your writing speed, your everything, simply everything. It's incredible program, real lightweight and makes your life a hell of a lot easier. Now, first of all, uh, if you have the same processor as I do, uh, which is i7-4700HQ, then you can do it absolutely the same. However, if you do not, then bear with me and listen carefully because it's not as much that you can like destroy your CPU it's just maybe it will just take longer to get to that point since it's different but nonetheless the results shall be a lot better than they are right now now this utility is made by Intel and it's really fantastic you have many different options you can choose on the left side the one we'll be doing are basically stress test and manual tuning. Now if you want to see how high your GPU can reach in temperature aspect, just go to stress test, CPU stress and click start testing. I already did that so I won't be doing it, but you can just do it like for 5 minutes, doesn't really matter. Before doing this tweak, I could achieve around... 90 now I barely reach 80 and when the CPU is one under 100% of usage I reached 89 but now I reach 90 which is 8 degrees less in my opinion freaking a lot uh, my thermal throttling is at 100 degrees Celsius so I'm still that 10 percent uh, 10 degrees lower which is fantastic then you'll want to go under manual tuning core basically i'll be explaining everything along the way so in case you don't know anything don't worry because you'll know from now on now here you can basically change the voltage that you're powering your cpu you can change your cpu dynamic cpu voltage offset basically the processor itself Core voltage, which we won't be touching. Turbo boost short power max, we won't be touching either. And turbo boost power max, we won't be touching that either. Basically, the only thing we want to do from here is dynamic CPU voltage offset and the multipliers, and then later the cache voltage, but we'll come to that later. Anyway, first of all, dynamic CPU voltage offset, we may want to put those to around minus 50.78. Now, if you don't have the same CPU, but it's like a long line, this one, so around 3.4 in Turbo Boost, 2.4 regular, just try lowering it by 10 and do a stress test for 5 minutes, everything is okay, great, keep on doing that. And if you reach 50 without any crashes, without any problems, fantastic, leave it at that. Then to multipliers. Now the default for multipliers is 34, 34, 32, 32, but multiplier is basically, it's just an amount multiplied by this that gives you your clock speed. So when it was 34, it gave us 34 in turbo boost. And since this is a multi-core processor, only one can be that actual that speed. So it's 3.4 gigahertz for one core, 3.3 gigahertz for second core, 3.2 gigahertz for third core, 3.1 gigahertz for fourth core, etc. etc. 
and that's basically the concept of it now since we want to have lower temperatures we're going to decrease the core of third and fourth one In my case I decreased it for one why well, I did that basically I prevented it from reaching that high temperatures but still maintaining the high clock since now it's not going to decrease so much and it's going to keep having quite high clocks on the first two meaning we'll still get a lot of power but with lower temperatures which is fantastic and for first two I basically increased it since I decreased this one it's just the opposite effect but since now I've more concentrated on the actual two cores and put it on all four which basically means better core per core performance but still the temperatures are lower which is great and that's pretty much it for this then go to cache and processor cache voltage offset decrease this one the same amount you decrease dynamic CPU voltage offset just click cache cache is um, without any like complicated words basically the amount of work it can do and that can store in that its file of the processor so basically you're decreasing how much it can do but still the amount is decreased just so much that the temperature is lower without really affecting the performance now if everything you did was okay apply stress test everything is okay fantastic now if you go to this program uh, the first thing when you open it it will probably look like this and you can just click that on start but it'll probably look like this just click X here you can see your CPU specs the turbo boost everything what you want to do is just click on sensors and get this tab opened and or if you just click on star sensors only click run and now when we're here basically you'll see this is are your processor clocks this is your usage and this is your temperature then you have your uh, hard drive your GPU if you're on laptop you also have your laptop activities over here basically everything you really need and desire and you'll see that before you do that if you open this program and go into temperatures and do stress tests and then do them later you'll see that they decrease by at least 10 degrees which is really great and super and fantastic because you'll be running lower clocks lower temperature meaning less fan work meaning maybe even longer life even though the CPU can last for quite many years now and yeah that's practically it this is just basically an upgrade of my previous tutorial for Sony Vegas because when you put that to 99% if you don't know what I'm talking about please check the video basically you decrease the core clock by 600 megahertz by doing that you just decrease it by 4 but still 3 gigahertz is quite a lot and yeah that's about it thank you for watching and see you next time